Hello, everybody, and welcome to the IC Markets Technical Update for the week of August uh, 24th. My name is Toby Gennaro from Traded Precision, and I have a couple of charts here uh, up on the screen looking at the, uh, the euro dollar. And I've got, I'll start here from just kind of the top um, level from the monthly and the weekly charts and see what we've got, and then kind of look down at some lower time frames. Uh, this is, there isn't anything setting up um, today. Uh, immediately, but just want to go through uh, something that might be happening um, and setting up down the road. Uh, but right here, looking at the monthly time frame, um, all the moving averages rolling over the 200, the 50, the 20, and the 10, everything fanning out really nicely. We've got about, I don't know, it looks like in excess of almost 12, 12 months. Let's, uh, yeah, all the way back to uh, all the way back to 21, a pretty nice downtrend there. And um, we blew through uh, this level right here, which is pretty significant, went all the way back, you know, around to 20, you know, 2014, 2016, 2017, had a test down around 2020, um, and then uh, came back in basically the beginning of this year, finally broke through that level. And this is what that trend kind of looks like on the weekly chart. I really like this, the 200, the 50, the 20, the 10, all fanning out really nicely. That you know, candle price action right there, really nice small candles throughout the entire trend, almost a nice, you know, 45 degree angle, um, lower highs, lower lows. You can see every time price rallies back in to that zone between the 10 and the 20 period moving average, you get those rejection candles. Once you get a break of the low, then uh, the next move lower is beginning. And so that happens pretty much over and over and over again. And uh, whenever these candles are nice and small, that really determines and tells us that our risk is nice and small as well. And so we're not getting multiple candles uh, in the zone. We're actually getting one. That means our stop goes above the high, our entry just a few pips below the low. And all of a sudden we're looking for uh, the next move lower. Um, here, we just got a, a short rally back up into the zone, another rejection candle. And it came down and it retested what I'm looking at right here is I'm looking at as the market continues to make lower lows in price, you can tell that the moving, uh, not the moving averages, but the, uh, the MACD and the RSI are making lower lows along with price. So price and the indicators or the oscillators here are known to be converging to the downside. That means that the price action to the downside is still pretty strong. That trend is still pretty good. And even when we're looking at the RSI, even though things are kind of flat along here and price is moving lower, that's okay, just as long as we don't get divergence. So as price continues to make lower lows, we're not getting higher lows on the indicators. That would be divergence. That would be a very bullish uh, signal of some type of a reversal pattern. Um, but for right now, I think things, looks, things look pretty good. Uh, we might be getting a rejection candle here on the weekly. Won't know until that closes out on Friday this week. And then we'll see if we can get a rally uh, back up into the zone or some type of a flat level consolidation to break lower. And then that would be indicative of another move to the downside. Let's take a look at one more time frame here, the daily, and see what that looks like. So here on the daily chart, again, all the moving averages are in alignment. Uh, they're in numerical order. They're fanning out. And then between the 10 and 20 period moving averages, this is what creates that, that sell zone. Now, this is actually going to be the trigger chart for us on the weekly uh, after looking at the daily, because when the daily happens, the rally is way up in to like the 50 period moving average, which is what we don't want. We want that rally right back into that zone between the 10 and the 20, like it's setting up on the weekly. I just like looking through all the time frames and make sure I understand uh, what's happening across the charts and then how everything is uh, flowing and how the trend looks. So right here, as we get the, a retest of this low, we start to get some divergence, as you can see right here. Until that, everything has pretty much been converging with lower lows between price and the indicators. So the only thing this tells me is, I mean, one, 
you know, one bullish um, signal there doesn't mean a whole lot. We might as well get a rally back up into the sell zone. If we set up another candle there, then uh, a bearish candle, then that might indicate another move lower. Uh, I would more or less be looking for that setup on the weekly chart. If we get a rally uh, back up into the zone or even a flat level consolidation across, the moving averages catch up to price. And then we might even have a lower high in place and then a retest, a third retest, and then maybe small candles consolidating along that flat level. That would be more or less a flat level breakout to the downside. And usually when you get those breakouts, if you measure between the flat level, which is right around 9979, maybe a little bit lower, and right up there about the high of that candle, usually when it breaks the low, it's going to move that much to the downside. So more than likely be a one-to-one -one move a right to down around here before you saw any kind of a bounce or a rally back up into that 9980 zone. So uh, I like that setup. It's not setting up right now. I don't know if it's going to set up, but that's pretty much what I think might happen uh, unless there's just an outright rally back up into the sell zone and then another rejection candle uh, all the way down. But there isn't a whole lot of room there to maneuver. So I'm thinking that the, the flat level is probably going to be um, the better thing uh, to look for. So that's what I would uh, be thinking on the euro dollar. Folks are interested in selling euros and um, in buying US dollars. And that's kind of where the, uh, the strength and the weakness lies uh, in this pair. And that's kind of what uh, overall the, uh, the setup looks like on the chart. So hope that uh, technical analysis helps. Have a great rest of the, uh, the week trading and we'll look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Thank you.